Looks like something your grandmother would have. No, but she didn't have it. I've taken some nice cutlery from her, but that's not hers. <laughs> at Miami's Coconut Grove neighborhood. As you can see, it just rained, so it's a little muggy, but we're excited to meet with Chef Michael Beltran, who's opened his restaurant early for us to give us a sneak peek into what he's cooking. Come on in. How's it going? It's going well. Yeah. So what's going on today? What are we making? We're making a little foie gras with plantains. OK, so let's start with the foie. Let's do it. I've eaten here many times, but I've never been behind. This is all the main ingredients of the dish. And then the actual star of the show, which is the foie gras. What is foie gras? Foie gras is goose liver. Okay. First thing you do is you have to score the foie gras. Really, that's just for even cooking. It's definitely not what you envision when kind of your parents force you to eat liver when you're a kid. Okay. Liver and onions, this is not like that at all. This is much more succulent, unctuous, it's fatty, it's delicious. We have served this dish since day one. This is definitely one of our oats to Miami. So you're finishing it off in the oven? Just for a couple of minutes. Because okay. we cook a nice portion of foie gras, so it's about three and a half ounces. You want to make sure that it's warm to the center. You don't want it cooked all the way to the center, you want it warm. The sauce is called Temptation Caramel. Okay. Old school Cuban sauce that not many people still do. This actually has a lot of vinegar, so share vinegar, sugar, uh, bay leaves, juniper, clove, star anise. It smells delicious. The plantains we make daily, we lightly fry them after we smoke them, and then we just steep it in the sauce. Okay. You want to start from the bottom, which is going to be your smoked plantains and your sauce. And you really just want like a spoon and a half of sauce. Again, I don't know where I came up with that number, but it happened, and I like it. like Cuban grandparent measurements. Yeah. Like a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Yeah, that's still, and let me tell you, they make it work. So if you notice, sorry, I'll answer that now. If you notice it's still soft to the touch, but it's not like falling apart. Foie propped up on your plantains. This is really the bones of the dish. The sear is beautiful. Thank you. So from here, you want to season with salt, All some salt. Malden, and the cocoa nibs, OK? And then now you put some beautiful herbs. Also very important, you want to tear your mint and your herbs because that releases your oil and really gets that herb to be fragrant. And now for the finale. Best part. A little grate of bitter chocolate on top, grate of lime, like that, and you are done. And here is your foie gras. It's beautiful. Can we eat it? We can eat it. I'm going to give you my favorite spoon so you can eat it. Make sure you get a little plantain okay, and the foie bite. and a little sauce. I'll help you out here. <laughs> it's teamwork. Do me a solid. Yeah. Okay. How was that? Mm. Is that good? I love the sauce. I got a really good bite of the herbs. 